Hi there Eagles, welcome to this week's bulletin, and now to Leo for the club's meeting. Club's meeting today. Interact Club is room 305 during lunch. Speech and debate is after school in room 401. Mock trial is in room 309 after school. Academic Tutors Club is in room 507 at lunch. Safe, safe Space Club is in room 706 at lunch. Thank you, Leah. And now to Damien. Summer School 2023. Eagles, it is time to start thinking about summer. Still in need of health credit? Want to get ahead of PE? Need to make up credits? Talk to your counselor today and check out the newsletter for summer school applications. Thank you so much, Damien. And now to Mason has been on the beat to find out more about this Easter egg hunt this Friday. What's up, Eagles? This Friday, we'll be doing an Easter egg hunt around campus. To get ready for that, we're going to be playing a little game. Hi, right, Eagles. Here's how the game's going to work. We have 12 dozen eggs, 11 of them are hard-boiled, and one is raw, and we're going to smash them on our heads. Oh, my God. Joke's on you. Mr. Tally doesn't know how to hard-boil eggs. <laughs> Prom 2023 has arrived. ASP is hosting prom at the Fremont Theater in Slo, called the Masquerade Ball on April 22nd from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. Tickets will go on sale next week on March 30th for $50, with prices going up on April 18th to $60. You must have a contract completed prior to buying tickets at the student business office. There will be no online sales for this event. Thank you, Mason. And out of air. Eagles, we need your help. Continuing this week until April 8th, Isabella Perez and Josie Mendoza are hosting a Feminine Supply Drive. Please participate in this drive to help homeless women in shelters by providing themselves with hygiene care. Drop-off donations will be in room 209 or at the front office. Check the flyer in the newsletter for more information on what is needed. Thank you, Barrett. And now to Austin. Visit student-athletes and families, a live webinar helping to prepare for your future as an NCAA student-athlete. Learn about the next steps based on your year in high school and how the removal of standardized test score requirements may impact your eligibility experience. Join us on Sunday, April 30th from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Scan the QR code here to sign up today. Thank you, Austin. And out of Vincent. Lunchtime activity alert. Come by the gym at lunch and cheer on your favorite basketball team in the inaugural basketball tournament. Post it Art Show is back. Show off your creative art skills. We will accept any style of art, but be sure to keep it positive and school appropriate. Any color post it is allowed, but it must be post it size. Drop off your submissions to room 205 by April 20. The art show will be during advisory on April 24th. Second annual Smash Brothers Tournament. Smash Brothers Tournament is back. Our second annual tournament will be held at lunch in the NPR from April 17th to April 21st. Sign up using the Google form found in the newsletter or see Mr. Tally in room 205 for more information. That is it for this week and now for our patriotic observance. On April 3rd, 1860, the first Pony Express mail Charlie and Bob Horse and Rider Relay team simultaneously leave St. Joseph in Missouri in Sacramento, California. Ten days later, on April 13th, the westbound rider and mail packet completed the approximately 1,000 hundred mile journey and arrived in Sacramento, beating the eastbound packet's arrival in St. Joseph by two days and setting a new standard for speedy mail delivery. Although ultimately short-lived and unprofitable, the Pony Express captivated America's Im imagination and helped with win federal aid for a more economical overland postal system. It also contributed to the economy of the towns en route and served one mail service needs the American West in the days before the telegraph and efficient transcontinent. The Pony Express debuted at a time before radios and telephones, when California, which achieved statehood in 1850, was still largely cut off from the eastern part of the country. Letters sent from New York to the West Coast traveled by ship, which typically took at least a month or by stagecoach on a recently established Butterfield Express overland route, which could take from three weeks to many months to arrive. 
Compared to the snail's pace of the existing delivery methods, the Pony Express average delivery time of 10 days seems like lightning speed. 